What's up guys? I have another leg routine for you guys today and this one is pretty brutal. So get nice and warmed up and let's get ready to go. Okay y'all, so the first exercise that's going to start to get you warmed up and start to get that knee stabilized and get all those leg muscles moving is going to be a kneeling lunge to a knee up. So you're going to do 12 on each side for three sets. So you want to make sure that you focus on stabilizing in the knee, so really squeezing all those muscles in the front leg to come up and making that leg really active, especially in the glutes and the quads. So make sure that you're, when you come back, you want to point that toe, only the knee is touching down. So the toe doesn't help you push off the floor, just all the muscles in your leg. So if you need to modify, you can also grab onto a chair or a bench or something to stabilize if you don't have the strength in your legs yet. So you can always modify, you can always make something easier, you can always make something harder. You just have to take it at your own pace and know where you're at and what you can handle and what you can't handle and take it from there and each time you should be progressing to make, to get a little bit better and do a little bit more. So after you do three sets of 12 on each side, then we'll move on to the next exercise. Okay guys, so you're gonna need to grab a band for this exercise and a few things to keep in mind on these lateral walks. So you want the band just above your knee and you wanna squat down always 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 keeping your core tight you're gonna squat down push that weight to the back of your heels so that you can make sure that that weight is in your glutes and not too much on your quads so this is a glute focused exercise so you want to make sure that you're actually hitting the right muscles whenever you are doing this exercise and you're gonna do three sets of 20 on those before moving to the next exercise which is going to be goblet squats with your heels elevated if possible if not then that's fine you can do them from the floor so you can see here that i have about 35 or 40 pounds so you want to go pretty heavy on these you're going to challenge yourself with this exercise and this is going to be a super set so you're doing 20 reps here and then you're going to alternate that with one more exercise so you want to make sure that you are focusing the weight in your quads this time as always you want to keep your core tight and you're going to push through those toes in the front and squeeze your quads when you come up and even though you're doing a lot of reps on these, you want to make sure that you're making every rep count and squeezing your quads on every single rep. So after you do your set there, you're going to go to the leg extension. So with the leg extension, we're going single, single, double, which means you're going to do one leg at a time and then you'll do both together. So it's really important that you try to focus on squeezing each side evenly. So when you're doing those singular reps, you wanna make sure that both feel as much as possible the same in terms of strength. Each rep is gonna be single, single, double. So you're gonna do 10 of those, three sets, alternating with the goblet squats, and then we move on to the next superset. We're gonna be on the hack squat, and you're gonna be doing one leg at a time. So these are really pretty challenging. As you can see, I don't have any weight on there and it was really, really hard. So just do whatever weight you can handle. And then on each side, you're gonna get 10 to 15 reps for three sets each. And it's really important to keep in mind that you wanna keep your back completely flat against the backrest. So you wanna make sure that there's no arching in your back and there's no space between your back and the back of the machine. And this exercise, we're going to superset with the leg press. So after you've finished your 10 reps on each side, you're gonna go over to the leg press. As you can see, I'm going pretty heavy on these, but like I said, you need to start on a weight that you can handle and then build from there 
progressively in each workout. So on these, you're gonna do 15 reps, keeping in mind the same thing as on the hack squat, that your back should be completely flat, making sure that you're really secure in your core and your lower back as you come down, controlling that weight with your quads and your glutes, and then pressing through your feet to come up. So you wanna make sure that you're controlling the weight both ways down and up, making sure that you're not letting the weight fall and not just using the momentum at the bottom to push it up. So it's super important that if you're gonna go heavy on the leg press, that you're really, really controlling the weight. So after you did your 15 reps there, you go back to the hack squat and you're gonna complete another two sets of each of those exercises. And that will be your next superset. And after you complete both of those supersets, then we're gonna move on to some finishing exercises. I like to do a little plyo movement at the end of my workouts, so that's what I'm gonna do here. And today we're doing that with a jump lunge. So I'm doing 20 on each side for three sets. You can do two or three sets at the end of your workout and just make sure that you can actually do this movement without hurting yourself, obviously but if you feel overly fatigued then you can definitely skip this one but i'm doing three sets of 20 on each side and it's really going to burn you out at the end and then after that i did calves so i wanted to leave all of the glute and quad stuff before i did calves so that's why i'm waiting till the end to do calves rather than doing them before that plyo movement or you can do it the other way around by the way guys, yes I am sweating a lot uh, in this part of the video and you can see like by my butt is very sweaty and funny enough my husband wanted to leave this out of the video because he was like oh we have to retake that because it looks bad but I think it's important for you guys to know that sweating is a part of working out so don't be afraid to sweat and don't be ashamed. So I did three sets of 15 on the calf machine. You can also just do um, calf raises with no weight and that'll work too and then that's going to be the last movement for three sets and then you're done with this workout so enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next workout